Our other special guest this evening is a former holder of this crown and he's moved on to uh, some bigger and rather better things. He's endured some pretty tough nights in the ring over the years, but few as tough as when he won the Lonsdale belt. Ricky Hatton is the new British light welterweight champion. Well, I'm glad to say that cut has long since healed up. Uh, Ricky Hatton back in Manchester and back in the ring very soon. Yeah, I mean, your, your first fight back from a, from a defeat and a knockout defeat is a, is a massive fight for you, so glad to be back, got my hunger back, had a nice little rest and looking forward to it. Dream come true, City of Manchester Stadium, just back in training now and I can't wait. Uh, and it seems this has really killed the public's imagination as well. Tell us what's been going on the last couple of days. Yeah, just a bit. Well, the, the tickets have gone on sale this morning at the City of Manchester Stadium and 45,000 45, tickets have already been oh. sold. And I mean, I, I had people phoning me up this afternoon saying, Ricky, we've, we've been at the City of Manchester Stadium, we've queued up for four hours and there's, there's no tickets left, there's no more tickets to give. And I think in, in, the, in the, just in a half a day, for 45,000 tickets to go is sensational. Well, if you're not lucky enough to have a ticket for the big fight, you can see it live with us. Ricky's homecoming against Mexico's Juan Lascano is live from the city of Manchester Stadium. It's a special event on Sky Box Office. It's on at a UK prime time as well, so you won't have to stay up late. Saturday, May the 24th. Ricky, uh, Manchester celebrates tonight. They hope to be celebrating at the end of May as well. Your, your big return to the ring. 45,000 tickets sold today. Uh, it justifies the, the, the reason to fight in, in home soil, if you like, isn't it? It is, it's mind-blowing, you know, and, um, you know, the last fight, maybe I fell a little bit short for the for the pound-for-pound pound title, but I think, there's, <laughs> I think there's one title I do have, and that's the best support in world boxing. I don't think anybody could, could sell £45,000 out in, in a matter of, like, maybe eight or nine hours. It makes me feel so proud, and what I need now is, the, you know, the comeback in performance to match the, the occasion and match the, the crowd's enthusiasm, and believe you me, they'll get it. It's been a while since you, you fought in Manchester, they three years, it was the Costa Juice fight, wasn't it? That, it was, uh, it was the Costa Juice fight, and, um, I mean, 22,000 tickets went in a matter of about five hours, I think, for that one. I mean, you know, the support is absolutely phenomenal, and I think it's been three years since that fight now, and um, maybe a lot of people thought that I wouldn't be boxing in the British, in the British Isles again, and maybe they thought I was going to finish my career in America, but I desperately wanted to come back, not only to Manchester, to England, to to say thank you to all them 35,000 who went over to Las Vegas and cheered me on and also for the fans that not everyone can afford to go to America for every single fight you know uh, a lot of the fans have been there from day one and um, you know you become a better champion when you you know you have a few obstacles and a few you know all the great champions are, have become great champions through coming back from defeat and that's the position I find myself in now and you know when you come when you have a defeat and a knockout defeat you can either go one way or the other but I, I think I'm going to go from strength to strength What's it going to be like headlining at the city of Manchester Stadium, the home of your beloved Man City? Well, I think I've lost count of the amount of interviews I've done over the years saying that I wanted to fight at, you know, at City's ground, and uh, now I've finally got my dream. 55,000, fantastic occasion, and now I want the performance, you know, to, to match the occasion, and I will certainly do it. You know, the, you know, the defeat has spurred me on. I, you know, I've become, I like to think I'm a pretty good champion anyway, but. I think the, the manner you come back from defeat just proves what, you, what you're all about and what a, true, what a good champion you really are. You can't take anything for granted in this fight because Juan Lascargo, Lascano is no mug, is he? No, no, he's, he's lost four out of 49 fights. He's ranked number four in the, in the IBO rankings, which is the IBO rankings is a very respected ranking system, which everybody tends to, tends to go off. I mean, he's only lost to Castillo when he was, at the time when he was the best light welterweight in the world. He lost a narrow points decision to... Vivian Harris, he's only been beat by top quality opposition and he's as tough as they come, you know, and he comes in as a fight, which will make for another good Ricky at night, I suppose. <laughs> and you won't have to get up in the middle of the night to watch it either. It is UK prime time if you want to watch it. Ricky Hatton against Juan Lascano. Special event on Sky Box Office. Saturday, May the 24th. You uh, must watch that one. Ricky, people are going to ask you, is the ambition still there after what happened in, in Vegas and what happened with Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, very much so. I mean, um, don't get me wrong, it was a very bitter and hard pill to swallow. I mean, it wasn't like, I mean, I was grateful for fighting the best pound-for-pound pound fights in the world. I genuinely, genuinely believed I was going to win. And maybe after five rounds, I felt like I was going to win. I thought it was working, but 
got a little bit giddy and a little bit frustrated here and there and in the end Floyd found the right punches and uh, proved why he's, he's the best pound for pound but you know you find out how good you are when you come back from from a defeat and I've um, I've got I've got the bit between me too. Sometimes you need a bit of a setback to get you back to your best. People are talking perhaps Paulie Malinaji, Madison Square Garden, the, the next big, big, big fight for you. Well, I mean, I haven't, you know, um, even though it's nice to come back for a homecoming, you know, but I have signed a deal with, uh, with you know, with HBO, so, so that will involve probably fights in the States, and Malinaji will be hopefully one of them because, I mean, you know, I'm in the home straight of my career now. I'm not going to go on for much, much longer, and... Uh, you know, City of Manchester Stadium, Madison Square Garden, that, those are my goals that are left. Ricky, cheers for your company tonight. My Glenn, pleasure. thank you as well. It's a